Hey everybody, what y'all doing here? Get out my mama house. I see Shang in the building. Where you at, dog? I see him in the building. There we go. Savage A guy. Laugh Factory Radio, powered by Dash. Subscribe to the podcast. Send that request, Shane. Go ahead, man. You got me in radio mode. Like, send any requests. Come on into the building, Shane. We're going to do this. Hook up this uh, headphones here. Hold on now. Bam. Now we headphoned up. Okay. <laughs> oh, Shane hates America right now. I'm sure most of that is directed at Instagram uh, at this moment. Ah, here we go. View. I'm going to view Shane. Yeah, now here we go, y'all. Savage AF. I'm gonna go ahead and pin this information before I start to drink it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Hey, what's up, man? What's up, big thing? You good, man? Ugh, fucking hating America. Oh no, no, no! Don't don't hate America. Uh, nah, it nah, man, I hate it, man. It Fuck it, so I hate it, it man. Us. I hate America. It loves us so much, though. So. What you mean? Oh uh, man, talking? it's like, ugh, and he's gonna fucking win. Now, who's this he you talking about? What you talking about, man? Come on now. Yeah, I'm talking about, well, okay, well, we're going to go over the show, but I'm just saying, man, I'm, I'm, I've am I'm had a very down day because of this shit. Yeah, bro. These motherfuckers is really going to be like, so what? I know I heard him. So what? So what? So what? He said it. Yeah, we heard him. We heard him with his own mouth, but so what? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Uh. And I, I can't help it. It's, 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 it's European Americans. It's, it's white folks. I'm, I'm trying to, I'm trying to not think and blame you, but I just saw the pictures of the rally. It was a bunch of you motherfuckers. This black and, people. I just saw the video voting. of him talking and lying back to back without a breath between, and you're still fucking riding with this bitch ass man. Hey, you still know, riding with this bitch ass man. Fuck all y'all. So, yeah. hey, what's going on, Pedro? It's good to see you, brother. Hey, there you go. Woo! And, and he's back. And he's back. Woo! I had to get it off my chest. Woo! Hey, get it off your chesses. Uh, yeah, man. I, like, wow. Like, wow. Like, hold on. Let, let, let's start the show at some point. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good. Uh, just do that. Y'all see, do that. Y'all see yeah. I got, the, y'all see I got the, the information pinned down there. Uh, you can go to imshang.com slash merch. We have yeah. Savage AF tees and masks. Uh, make sure you're following the uh, podcast, Savage AF, wherever you get your podcasts, iTunes, Google Play, Slacker, Stitcher, iHeartRadio, SoundCloud, Spotify. Spotify, and we will be there for you to talk as much shit as savagely as we can. That's what we because do. Because we're fuck, savage. Fuck your feelings if you feel otherwise. We don't really give a shit. Uh, Eve's man, underscore. Man. I'm Eve's ugh, underscore, today I'm Eve, trying not to break. Hold on, yeah. hold on. Yeah. Eve's underscore Apple 7916 is in the building. Uh-huh. Penny 212. I saw Black C's in the building. What up, Nope? See Rollo the leader here. Uh, Rollo K- the leader. K Fields PR. Rollo the leader. Appreciate y'all. Breezy JJs, I see y'all. Um, we got people so- jumping on. Thank y'all so much for jumping on. Thank y'all for your support. Thank y'all for being down with us because you know why? Because y'all smart. Y'all smart motherfuckers. All the other people that ain't down, they ain't smart. They dumb. They dumb. They are window lickers. We know that. So thank y'all so much for being down with us. Obviously, we're going to give you the daily run up as uh, as given run to you by ass. Black Pedro. And also, you can check out Black Pedro later on on Comics Uncensored. That's right. Comics Uncensored tonight. Tonight. After the show, make sure you check them out. Now, you too. I got to say one more thing. God damn it, man. This motherfucker could win. Even though Biden is saying all the right shit. <laughs> He's saying all the right shit. He's doing it right. He ain't saying no dumb shit. Like, you know, if you don't vote for me. And D.L. Hughley said, I saw D.L. Hughley say, I agree. I agree. If you don't vote for, if you vote for Trump and you don't vote for Biden, you're not black. And I was like, Wow. I, I, yeah, I mean, I'm starting to see. I, I, I kind of see what he's it's saying. Just, well, no, it was just uh, that wasn't for Joe Biden to say. You know, let DL say that. Let you say that. Let me say that. <laughs> Joe Biden don't need to be saying that, though. Um, right. But, I mean, aside from that, compared to all the array of things this motherfucker has said, it is a it is a gnat on a fucking brontosaurus's ass. That's how infinitesimal and small it is compared to the Horrible shit this man's going to do and has done. And he's, and I, ooh, I want to, I'm like, ooh, I'm, 
All these prostitutes, why didn't you pee in this motherfucker's eyes? You peed yeah, on they him. Probably did. They probably did. He they probably that. did? Okay, well then, okay, I feel better. All right, I feel better. You ready to start the show, dog? Yeah, 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 man. I'm sorry, man. I just <laughs> was watching the, hey, I the thing it. on the thing, and the thing made me crazy. Right, we're going to talk, talk a bad about day. It. It's part of the yeah. show. We're going to talk about it, no doubt. Um, but <sighs> today, uh, what are we, September 10th, 2020, Savage AF, yes. we're going to end the show talking about Vote Wisconsin. Uh, we're going to talk about how you register, when you need to register, when you need to when go. You register, yeah. When you register, yeah. When you need to get yeah, your yeah. shit in. And we're going to talk about it. But before we talk about it, we're going to talk about tonight's sick off. <laughs> oh, I, I think I'm in kickoff because the NFL starts tonight. And so does Dumb, dummy, boy dummy, dummy. So yeah. does my boycott for another year. Uh, but before we talk about that, we're going to talk about how the, the GOP has gone deaf and blind. Uh, everybody else in the goddamn world hears Trumpy Dumpty on these tapes, and they're like, they they Stevie wondered the fuck out. Well, I don't know they, what they, they you're speaking of. Bitch and blind, they can't see the book, they can't hear the tape anymore. So we're gonna talk about that. Um, but before we talk about that, we're gonna talk about another GOP failure, which is the stimulus. <laughs> Not stimulus, but stimulus. As in, less, uh, less, less, less. The lousy package they tried to put through their own Senate has failed. Um, it stinked. <laughs> but before we get into that, today, October 10th, 2020. Uh, sorry, September 10th, 2020. <laughs> September 10th. Yeah, September I'm trying, 10th. I'm trying 20 to 20. get through this fucking year. <laughs> You're God like, it. it's uh, September uh, 10th, it's 2020. No, yeah. man, it's 2020. Okay. All right, so uh, here we go. Uh, we got Woo. 200. It's a hack attack, y'all. We know, we know this, but Microsoft has just identified 200 targets that Russian hackers are are focused on here in the United States. All of these 200 entities are tied to the 2020 United States election, guys. Right. But you, but you're, and Microsoft, you're, yeah, Microsoft warned them before, and now they calculated what easily, easy, easily found it. And um, Microsoft been speaking up. So we'll see what happens. Still going. And understand that your 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 attorney general. Uh, William below. Oh, wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, not no, mine. Listen. Mine. Sorry. Well, yeah, yeah. We, we Americans. He's, he's, he's everybody. That's true. Attorney General. Your, your That's American. true. That's real shit. Um, yeah. He, you know, he's he's saying that China is the is the main problem that we need to focus on, and all of just just it just highlights all of this this Russian collusion thing that they got going. Like they just the the administration refuses to address Russia as a problem on a, on a global scale. They want to keep going with this China shit, China virus, you know, China stole our homework, whatever the fuck, you know, they want to talk. But it's clearly counter to the evidence that we're getting from intelligence agencies, uh, as well as big corporations like big corporations uh, Facebook like Microsoft and fucking yeah Microsoft. Microsoft everybody's aware of it and I think these motherfuckers are so trying to protect the Russians I think they masturbate with Russian dressing I think yeah. they don't even use yeah That's they don't even went. use yeah That's they don't even use out. uh you know like your standard go buys lotion your standard go buys baby oil nah 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 Straight for the Russian dressing. Straight for the Russian. That's what they jack their dick with. And you know what they do that? And they all jack their dick on the back of some. It's not even a Russian hooker. It's on. It's on people dressed like Putin. It's them little That's, dolls. Them them the Russian yeah, dolls those, yes. that are inside yeah. each other. They nut inside the smallest one. Each one, yeah. and then they close it, and, and then they, they nut, close it all and they up. close it. Yeah, they're horrible human beings. And anybody that likes them, I hope y'all all burn in hell. So and please I hope continue. They burn in hell. <laughs> yeah. I hate y'all. Today, I hate them today. I just hate them. No, nah, I get it, man. But, uh, you know, so, again, understand that we, are, we have to be really, really diligent because we have yet another entity now, Microsoft, uh, telling us how hard the Russians, Russians are working uh, to confuse the shit out of us during this whole confusing-ass time. You know what I mean? But yes. let, let it be clear. No matter what you do, get your ass out there and vote. Especially if you're black, get your black ass up and vote. Go look through history and realize all the Negroes who got their heads busted open, uh, trying to fight for your right to sit on the couch and ignore it. No, get your ass up, go vote. Get up and yeah. even if you even if you hate Joe Biden and hate Kamala and all of that, you yeah, still but got, I mean it's you still unfounded. Got other shit a, to vote for. Yeah, yeah, it's so. 
It's so yeah. unfounded. I understand he did some stuff that you, you did pertaining to the crime bill. I understand that you have a problem with Kamala Harris's fucking, you know, prosecutorial uh, record. But again, let me clear this up for you fucking idiots, all right? All you fucking idiots. If, all right? And I'm saying this to all y'all. All you. What's up, Sue? It is, it's not as bad as four more years of this cunt. Don't you get it? And all you black people say, man, I don't really like her. I don't like this. I don't like that. Shut your bitch ass up. You know that this <laughs> motherfucker is way worse than Kamala and Biden combined. Are you kidding me? Stop yeah. it. Come on, man. Stop it. <laughs> Come on, people. Wake your ass up, people. So Wake get your out there. ass up. Wake your punk ass up. And if you're in Wisconsin, we're going to talk about how you vote uh, at the end of the show. But Yeah, we're going to talk you know, about that shit. Understand yeah. that like, as early as next week in some places early early voting will begin so this ain't a november thing guys this is a, a whole september october a whole fest what's up saluminati this, this is now good. yeah so this is this is right now you need to get your ass out there and start to voting take somebody with yes. you you know what i mean help 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 out the elderly in your family get them help them get it there get the ballot there do it get, get off your ass stop beating off with russian dressing and get get in the game Yes. Uh, Savage AF, y'all. Laugh Factory Radio. Powered by Dash sometimes. Um, <laughs> so. <laughs> Did you say sometimes? Powered sometimes, by Dash sometimes. sometimes. Yeah, yeah, sometimes it's not. Most uh, times it's not. Let's yeah. be real. Uh, so none of the time it is. Yeah. So let's, talk about this, let's talk about this stimulus. Um, this oh, moment. yeah, that is. That is I, just got, I just got a uh, little cheesy ass, can't pay my fucking shit check. That's the name of the check on on it, you know, not the check, but I mean, you know, the mm -hmm. download onto the card. It actually said, "Can't pay shit with this deposit." Check. That's yeah. the name of it. Yeah, check deposit. That. Yeah, it's horrible. Yeah, bro. Well, you don't expect any more can't pay shit checks anytime soon because <laughs> these motherfuckers are, uh, are really not great at passing bill, right? So understand that the the Democrats. The Heroes Act, they passed that like a hundred something days ago now. You know yeah, what I mean? Like another phase that, that the Senate is just ignoring. So it's like, all right, well, come with your shit. And they, they keep coming with bullshit. And yes, the Democrats are playing hardball. But basically what the, what the GOP wants to do is, is like half the money. And what they're really focused on is making sure that healthcare providers, and your employers are not responsible for uh, you dying at your job. Right. So they, you know. And, just... and these idiots don't realize if, if, if so many, if a lot of people die, then you can't stimuli, stimu you can't stimulize, stimulize. I don't know what the fuck. You can't have, <laughs> uh, you, you know, you, you got to make sure that it's stimulized. You can't yeah. stimulize the motherfucking economy. Yeah. If you don't have live motherfuckers, dead people can't stimulate <laughs> anything, nigga. nigga. All right, now go get me my money. Get me my money, <laughs> not half my money, not half my stimuli. I want all my stimuli, you bitches. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. <laughs> yeah. So and you have to wipe know. the side of your mouth when you do pimps. <laughs> <laughs> <It's> all, <laughs> you got that? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I bet you, yeah. Is that Russian dressing in the corner of my mouth? Watch yeah, is that Russian dressing? Yeah, <laughs> these motherfuckers, man. I can't. So, oh, so, man, I was so racist today. I got to get no, that yeah. out of my heart. <sighs> yeah. All right, sorry. So, yeah, you know, the, these are feigned attempts to, to stimulate anything here. Um, they are uh, the, the GOP, that is, led by Bitch McConnell in the Senate. You know what I mean? That, that's y'all boy. Old, old turtle out the show. Oh, man, McConnell. and he's such a... He's such a sycophant. He's such a fucking taint licking cornhole. Oh, I can't stand him. I, I like a lot of these dudes. Asthma. I want to beat him up, like physically beat him up. Like today, I was watching Trump on the fucking briefing or whatever the fuck you want to call it, and I was sitting there going, "Damn, I wish I was right next to him." Blast him in his motherfucking eye. Just okay. I I, I go to jail. Yes, yes. For assaulting the president, but I'd be feel good. And all the convicts like, man, that feel nigga, that, that right hand, that over right hand you did on the Trump, Ooh, that shit I was still got it. <laughs> that shit, <laughs> not if you do it. You look at the other people, still got it. Come on, okay. <laughs> <laughs> who want <laughs> And then the other dude try to jump me. Oh, y'all want some too, huh? Oh shit, you're <laughs> fucking with Johnny Red, nigga. 
nigga, when the fist go in a circle like this and, and it's upside down, old timey box, I'm like, yeah, like, that, like that, 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 that. You don't want none of Johnny like, Red, nigga. Right? Johnny, Johnny anytime Lee. you make up, yeah, because I'm light skinned, I'm Johnny Red. <laughs> Red Bone that's Johnny. My, that's my new shit. Red Johnny Bone Red. Johnny. Yeah. Well, yeah, you know, uh, essentially what the GOP is doing is, is punching America in the face. And ultimately, you know, bitch McConnell, old, old shell-faced ass bastard, he, uh, you know, he's already had to recant so many times where he's like, uh, we're not giving any more money. And then it's like, all right, we'll give some money, but I don't know how much. And then it's like, well, just go back to work. So um, they, ultimately, they're, hurt, they're hurt, hurting their own constituencies. They're trying to play this blue state bailout game. Like, we don't want to help blue states. It's like, bitch, half your state ain't got teeth. <laughs> you better yeah. stay focused. And plus, blue fucking state, job. you fucking idiots. Red Republicans live in blue states, you cunts. Let, I, you know what? I hate all y'all. And anybody that comes on this fucking thing and no longer going to be like, well, we see your opinion. You say some dumb shit, I'm going in to paint on you. You understand me? Fuck y'all. And fuck everybody look like y'all. If I see a nigga look like you, fuck him too. That's right. Sorry. That's right. Uh, yeah. Ms. Unique Love said, I don't want a check. I want a 40 Mary Jane vending machine. <laughs> there you go. I'd I, I put it on batch. Uh, well, at least you got your my priorities together. Hey, okay, you know, is you're going to need something to get through this motherfucker. You yeah, I, I just bought some today. I just bought some new. Um, I looked one up there today. Was interesting. Yeah, you you re up as we say in the I re up. Yeah, I had yeah, to try some new shit from uh, some new shit. I I wanted to make sure that uh, because I'm feeling kind of edgy right now. I need something to chill me the fuck out. I'm I think I'm gonna get high as giraffe pussy tonight and just I'm watch high. cartoons. I'm high in a research monkey, baby. <laughs> you know <what> I'm <laughs> yeah, that's where, that's where I am, man. Oh, man. Because I need the stimuli. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, Prime Minister of Chase, hate, I see you. I see you. Hate baby. America. Prime Minister okay, Chase, uh, he's got to put on a show for American deception. Absolutely, this you know this whole buffoonery, this thing we're watching, this this yeah. ha half a ring circus. Uh, it is all just big old distraction, man. This man is just trying to get reelected through <laughs> Russian entities who are going to manipulate shit, and then he's going to tell you it was, it was the Democrats with the mail-in votes and the stamps. And really, it's him doing it the whole time. And yeah. meanwhile, meanwhile, they set a monkey on fire, and, and it distracts everybody while it runs around and sets, every, and sets everything yeah. else on fire that it touches. So, um, well, right yeah, now, yeah. It's, you know what? And believe me, we live in California, so we know a little something about fire. The fucking sun got blocked out today. It was orange outside. Bro, I ain't fucking with you. Yeah. I'm in Vegas. I'm, <laughs> I'll come back when y'all put the state out. <laughs> when y'all <laughs> yeah, douse the state, I'll be right back. When you douse the state out, I will be back. But right now, I'm telling you, babe, you look outside all day, the sky was orange. Yeah, man. I mean, orange, not a, a semblance of any other color, orange. So, so what you're telling me is that Trump's Trumpy Dumpty skin tone has taken over the sky in yeah. Los Angeles. Yes. His skin tone yeah. is just hovering over the city like the <laughs> orange rind peel ass motherfucker that he is. Oh, yes, citrus. It's, it's so bad. What do we call it's him? So citrus, citrus Hitler? <laughs> citrus Hitler. Yeah, that's Jay Fit. AJ Fit. Yeah, man, that's what it is. So, uh, who's in the building? Yo, uh, and also make sure all my people on here, make sure you follow at Black Pedro. Quit fucking right, around. And, follow and, at Black Pedro. And if you don't, you know what? You're a bad patient. You're not even. You're not a nice person. <laughs> no, man. I think that the you. main thing you got to look at it from this, the fact that they are playing hardball. I think the Democrats need to play more hardball, and the fact that they are acting as though, well, we're just helping blue states. If that don't tell the people that are on the fence pertaining to Trump that he don't give a fuck about you, and it's you, you, you people that regretted voting for Trump, you better get the fuck out there because half the shit. Most of this shit is your fault. The people are like, well, I didn't like Hillary, so I drove. I get you. You did the dumb shit. You a dummy. But now you need to make up for it. All right. I'm going to talk about that at the end of the show, but you better make up for it. And anybody ain't registered to vote and saying you can't do that because I can't. Uh, 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 I need you. Uh, I need you to I eat you your. I need you to eat your. Right. I need you to eat your <laughs> shoes while your foot is still. Yep. Up. Okay. I'll be get. I'll be get raped by squirrels. <laughs> 
Like, you know, that's and it, it won't stop because squirrels are persistent and they travel in them little packs and they got them little right. feet. Right. And, feet and then they run away. They latch and they on, go up yeah. the tree and you, you just got to hurt squirrel dick ass. So, yeah. I'm sorry. Uh, no, I feel you, man. Speaking of a uh, squirrel rape, that's what um, the GOP. <laughs> That's a segue in a half. Yeah. yeah that's no, that's that, that that's basically what the GOP is doing. Uh did you get America. your did you get your money? Did you get your money? I, I didn't get any extra bonus money. No, I, I, I did a, oh. I filled out my uh unemployment most recently because I heard Cali was supposed to be kicking in some extra money, but I ain't get extra I shit. Get no extra money, dog. So um we'll we'll see how that works out. But uh you know, the, the the GOP, the way they are responding to the Bob Woodward tapes and the book Rage, which is uh, is, is, is about to hit us with it. Um, Bob Woodward, Woodward, again, being the, you know, famed reporter uh, from, you know, who exposed the Watergate connections to, right. to the Nixon administration and, and has done so many other things since. Uh, but, you know, he, he, he has like 18 different interviews on tape. Uh, right, the, and we've only heard a little bit, of, but we, we've, we've heard, heard more like today. Three. So, right. no, they released uh, it. Uh, and now that there's a new one that came out that I heard today, and it's more fuckery. And yes. uh, I see publicity Matt just jumped on. If you say <laughs> something, yeah, speaking of fuckery, if you say something like, "Well, what he said was that he didn't mean what he said," we fucking heard him. There was no gray area. He knew he was being recorded. Wow. He don't give a fuck. And then today, when he was speaking at the briefing, out of his little anus mouth, his fucking anus. Little in his mouth, the little in his mouth. Guess what? His little Fingers shitty face. shit mouth. He denied it and said he didn't lie. He said it again. He didn't lie. And we fucking heard him. And the people still are out at this rally right now. And I, and they don't have no mask on, so they're gonna make it spike, and we're gonna have a super spreader because this motherfucker. <laughs> so and and you know while we are sitting here like normal human beings hearing things. Uh, it seems like the entire GOP is just like, oh, I haven't heard the tape. I haven't seen the book. I haven't heard the tape. I haven't seen the book. I don't know what's tape. Tape. What's yeah, tape? I, don't I don't even know the tape. Tape. What you book? Heard the tape. What I book? heard the tape. Will you see the tape? I was like, uh, motherfucker, the tape is everywhere. Get out of here. But you know, that's why they have their outlets like Fox News or Faux Noise or <laughs> Faux News, where um, uh, you know, Lou Dobbs today was talking about Trump. <laughs> Trumpy Dumpty being what a great day it was for him uh, because Trumpy Dumpty uh, has been nominated for a Nobel Peace Prize for which is absurd know, and and totally not what he ain't about to win no goddamn Nobel Peace Prize. Uh, but what for, if he won? I thought about that. What if he won? I'd be like, fuck the Nobel Peace Prize, girl. Y'all have no credibility. The motherfucker ain't about peace. He's about division. He's done nothing but try to divide. He uses race. Which I thought peace means peace, but he tries to use race to divide everybody. But yet, Nobel even nominated him. Fuck you too. And, you know, <laughs> if anything gonna burn up, I hope we drop the Nobel Peace Prize people that picked this motherfucker right in the middle of the goddamn forest and let they ass burn the fuck up. Uh, <laughs> by the way, um, I, I heard Chris Hayes say this on MSNBC earlier today that, um, and I, I don't know much about the nomination process myself, but Chris Hayes was like, by the way anybody could be nominated for a Nobel Peace Prize. It, uh, so it's it's not a thing, you know? It, it, this ain't something that is about to be a thing. It's just the thing that Fox News wants to talk about instead of talking about oh, it, there, this it was lying like Anchorman on the goddamn on, tape. It was like Anchorman on Fox News. Yeah, man. Yeah, I was watching, uh, Anch Anchorman was like something major is happening in the world. Obviously, this book is a giant bombshell of people knowing that this man was like this, and now they have actual proof for the people that were doubters. And you cut the Fox News, and it's the same shit as, hey, look at this squirrel on the, on the jet skis. Boy, look at that little guy go. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's good. He is. He's look at him go. Wow. I'm hey, about... you know what? Today, we're going to talk about who likes apples. Apples, are, yeah, but the world's burning over here. Yeah, but we're going to talk about apples on Fox News. Fox News is the most fake fucking news channel. It ain't even fake. It's an it's an entertainment for far right and racist and and racist. And by the way, anybody on here that's racist and you want to just come on here to talk shit, I'm gonna let hey. you know from now on. Pedro gonna go in your fucking face, and I'm going in your face. I'm sick of you motherfuckers. I'm yeah, sick yeah, of yeah, yeah. always meeting I'm racists halfway and pandering and trying to be nice to you motherfuckers. Let's get it on, bitches. Let's. Um, I just, I just, uh, 
Googled on my computator. Because um, <laughs> I, 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 I found some people were asking the question, who in the hell nominated this dude? Uh, apparently, uh, both the Fox News and CBS News headline is, he was nominated by a Norwegian politician for his Israel UAE, that's United Arab Emirates uh, deal that they put together, peace deal. Um, so just know, just know that nobody in fucking America <laughs> right. nominated this motherfucker. It was a Norwegian politician. So fuck Norway, <laughs> or at least that dude in Norway. But uh, that's who it was, guys. It was nobody in America who fucking nominated yeah. Trumpy Dumpty for a Nobel Peace Prize. Uh, and that wouldn't even make sense because the whole goddamn country is on fire. Not even just natural fires, but racial fires and tension right. and shit. Ain't no peace going and on. And people being evicted and he's saying, yeah, well, you know, Trump did a great job. I mean, he keeps repeating that shit as though it's going to work. But the thing that's wild about it, it is work. When you see him walk out and start yucking it up on fucking um, at his rally today or his fucking Klan rally here today, and he's yucking it up and there's people fucking dying a thousand a day. And he's like, yeah, you know, <laughs> don't make me cry. I want to make you cry, bitch. Ooh, I, ooh. <laughs> like, I wish that every person that ever been raped in prison, they would all go away and it would be all their pain would go right into his asshole. I fucking, <laughs> I, I ain't never hated a man. I hate people. I'm going to tell you, I hate some of the people in the industry. I hate some of these dummy motherfuckers that make decisions and just go, hey, man, this guy deserves a special. I hate the people that gave Brendan Shaw a fucking Showtime special. I hate y'all, too. Numbers don't make you funny, bitches. All you comments yeah. with a lot of numbers, that don't make you funny. You ain't funny. Fuck all y'all. You know, I beat you to death with Gerard Carmichael Skull. <laughs> hey, man. And Savage fuck him, AF. too. I wish you, and next time he see me, come at me, nigga. <laughs> Savage AF, y'all. And if you're wondering... Uh, why Shang is threatening the entire comedy community is because we don't give a fuck. We don't give a shit on this show. Fuck your feelings. I don't mean the whole, yeah, there's some fucking people. <laughs> no, I apologize. No, no, I'm just on one. No, no, I know what, you, I know what it is. Today's a therapeutic just, If you it's see all the fuckery going on. It's a therapeutic show, man. That's what it is, dog. It's just yes. Y'all don't see all this fuckery going on? Y'all y'all think y'all think we do this show for y'all? No, Shang and for I us. do this so we don't choke people at Whole Foods and shit. So that I don't kick... Yeah. Uh, Karen's in the back of their head at Trader Joe's. That's all, that's the only reason I do this show. Okay, you know I what? I don't leave my house until I do this show. Exactly. And then once I get all this shit off my chest, I'm like, we go out all hunting. Right, now I'm ready for a minute. Pedro <laughs> almost. Pedro was gonna beat up a person uh, one time for hitting his car with his hand. I, I can relate, cake, Pedro. He patty cake my and window. And you were. Too hard you were there. that close, nigga. You just smacked a motherfucker not even a little bit ago. It was Had the last thing. The last thing I did is slap the shit out of one of my uh, line brothers uh, before we fucking went on a lockdown, dog. I, I ain't playing. Right. No more. And that was his line <laughs> I ain't brother. Playing no more, dog. dog we so sick together. of this. Nigga, I don't give a fuck. Give When's Leviathan coming through? We need to start. <laughs> <laughs> Look, Miss 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 No Slick name is like holding back, Pedro. I'm like, hey, it ain't me. I'm about to lunch <laughs> with this motherfucker. <laughs> no, <laughs> I mean, y'all need on. to hold us back. Everybody yeah. out there, tell the truth. I mean, the fuckery. It's frustrating when you see something. And imagine when you see something and somebody, you know they did it. And they know they did it. You've seen them do it. And they're sitting going, no, nah, that wasn't me. That wasn't me. And that's what these fucking pundits and these Republicans sound like today. And I want to punch every one of them in their fucking face like, bitch, you heard them. <laughs> bitch, you heard them. Shut the fuck up. You heard, you didn't hear the, you didn't Stand hear up and get hit again. <laughs> yeah, then you what you do is you play it for them while they bleed. Go, you hear it now? You ain't hear it. Say you didn't hear the shit now. Say, Don't wipe say, your lip. Let say you bleed. didn't hear the shit now. Don't wipe I mean, your lip. Let it bleed. Let it bleed. Yeah. Oh, fuck, man. Stomp these bitches out. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to say that. Uh, I'm, it, I'm, 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 I can't condone violence here, apparently, or they'll block you. Uh, all of a sudden, you'll see Pedro's screen go black. <laughs> no, I'm just it's just the dummy dumbness of America. And we try to act like we're number one when we're not. We're fucking 34th and fucking basic math and knowledge. And just we're so far down. And they said we were the best pertaining to testing. No, we're not. We're second to last of, of, of rich nations, of developed nations. We are yeah. the horriblest. We are the most worst. Horrible. And everybody's listening to this orange anus mouth. And not everybody, but the people that were ride with him, ride with him. He got 2,000 motherfuckers without masks right now in Michigan. 
fucking screaming for him. Screaming when he walked out like he was a rock star. And he's like, don't make me cry. <laughs> you bitch. Oh, hey. And if you're a woman and you're a Trump supporter, I hope that your vagina dry up. Yeah. <laughs> and I don't mean, <laughs> and you never get wet again. <laughs> you be have that dap. That dap. Yeah. Uh, yep. Dap. El Nuke. Dry ass uh, pussy. We are number one in fuckery. We lead the nation. And that's our oh. that's our gross that's our gross domestic product is fuckery. We <laughs> send it out all over the world. <laughs> And we are leading the world in, in, in fuckery production. Hey, did you package up that fuckery? Yeah, man. We got four packages. We're sending we're sending it right now to Sweden. And guess what? Sweden <laughs> wouldn't even take this shit. Other countries are laughing at us. Their kids are going to fucking school. <laughs> That's fine. Think yeah. about that. Their kids they're, are they're small, going to school. Yeah. Their small their small businesses are not fading away forever like ours are. Because they yeah. did the right things up front. Because they don't have right. a line they motherfucker didn't. on tape. Telling uh, you know a reporter one thing like yeah this is some serious shit and then going out on the podium the next day and being like ah it's a hoax you know what I mean so that that's 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 the fuck we're dealing with and and his supporters I'm gonna say it again are the ones this is why vote 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 you you mentioned Michigan Chang I think that's the earliest state we've encountered where you can vote so early voting I think starts September 23rd in Michigan get your ass no, up no I'm just letting you know that's the truth there, Michigan go vote. Michigan is a battleground state. Um, the battleground state where he can win the electoral vote. And don't get it twisted. That racist ass, cunty, cunt, fucking electoral vote. It was made for slaves not to catch up. That's what it is. Just like cops are fucking slave catchers. And that's why they're so racist towards black people. And white people can drive down the street with a human head swinging over their fucking face that they just cut off. And they still be like, well, maybe he's just trying to wave away flies because flies get on well, your face. You got to do something to wipe them away. Maybe not a human head. Fuck all be, y'all. Fuck y'all. Well, ah! Presumably, it would be a black head. And then the cops wouldn't care about it because it's just a nigga head. Uh, RBA nigga. Gourmet, you know, you got to call if you're going to be this late, girl. But welcome to the class. Savage AF, y'all. Uh, make sure you're always following at Comedian Shang and myself at Black Pedro and at Savage AF Radio right here on IG. Uh, that's where we are Monday through Friday. Mondays and Friday, 3 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Tuesday through Thursday, 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. That's what it is, y'all. Um, all right, so, you know, we, we see that the, the GOP is monkey-minded. And obviously, Roger Goodell, the National Football League oh, uh, God. He's commissioner, so is, He's is so of stupid. that same monkey mindedness. So well, yeah, a lot. Of, you know what? A lot of the owners are are say have that same mindset. They all think the same way, and they've shown it by how they reacted to Kaepernick, how they reacted to Kaepernick, and even when some people did take a knee, they tried to, you know, pressure them. Now, some of the people that came, then I understand you. You worked all your life playing football, but bottom line is, you're still black first. You're a black body first before you are a black football player. And if you can't understand that shit, then use a bitch, too. And I know some of you football players, I'm an older man, you probably beat the shit out of me. But you know what? No, you won't. Not when I turn around and Uncle Stab it come out. You try to grab me, you big muscular motherfucker. Stab. Stab. I stab niggas. You understand me? I got a little <laughs> pen knife. I pull that pen knife and Uncle Stab it get to stabbing. Stab, 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 nigga. Yep. Stab. So tonight... Stab. Yeah. Tonight begins the NFL's uh, stab at increasing oh corona so spikes and in, in increasing corona cases in America. Um, unlike the National Basketball Association, which um, has been progressive and ahead of a lot of this stuff. And when I say this stuff, I mean the pandemic, the clandemic, and all of the other goddamn shit we're dealing with right now. Like they, they have all had a better stance, at least in recent history, right? Um, but the NFL is not create, has not created a bubble. Tonight you have the Kansas right. City Chiefs. Uh, I believe they're hosting uh, the Houston Texans. Okay, so now you got niggas coming from Texas. <laughs> all, all going up Another, to Kansas. A, a state or, or vice that's versa. actually spiking. And well, Missouri, actually, Missouri, sorry. Um, it was where Kansas City would be. Um, this Kansas Yeah, City. but, I mean, Texas is spiking. So the people that are coming from there 
You know, it, it's like this shit ain't gonna never be over the way these dumb motherfuckers. Americans is dumb as shit. You're gonna continue this shit instead of just doing what the fuck you gotta do? It's as simple as that. You, they, you know what? People put a cast on your leg when it's broke. Now it's fucked up, it itches, it's inconvenient. You can't take a shower while putting plastic over it. But guess what? You gotta do that shit until your leg and the yeah. bone fucking heals. That's now, and then when the leg, and then you run a little slow, and then at first you slow, and then after you get better and you better, and then all of a sudden you're running back to normal. Bam, that's what the fuck we were supposed to do. We didn't do that shit, and now look at us. Now look at us, you, and it's, you know whose fault it is. It ain't a bunch of, it ain't black people pulling the levers of power. Guess who the fuck's doing it? Ah! You know who did it. <laughs> uh, Damien, uh, I see you out there, big dog. Uh, you know, be careful out in H-Town. Um, RVA Gourmet shout now Houston to see y'all got her out here rapping that UGK and shit. Um, but you know, so while it is football season, I like to call this uh, by a different title. For me, this is not NFL football season. It is boycott season. Yay! Yeah. So among you know, I'm calling for people to you know boycott Facebook until the the election is over, right? Because there's there's just garbage out there. Um, Boycott this NFL with me, y'all, okay? Do not watch. I love the game. I am a man who, who has played the game. I have strapped on a helmet and, and banged heads like a fucking ram into another man's skull, right? So, right. I, I, I and love he, this And game. he still got sense. But boycott this NF goddamn L, right? Like, fucking, we cannot support this league. They told Colin Kaepernick he was a son of a bitch, a piece of shit, a guy, and and then... And now, tonight, they're like, if players want to kneel, it's okay. I'm like, fuck you, Roger Goodell. You took away a man's career. Oh, yeah, my career. God. Oh, my God. Away it's so much bullshit. took career because he did some peaceful shit. And then we sit here and watch. The, you know, I saw one pundit say earlier today that, you know, it, it, it's funny to watch this turnaround, like this light bulb that they've already suddenly had. Like, oh, you know what? Maybe kneeling during the anthem is better than setting cities on fire. Because, really, motherfuckers tried to do this peacefully. They tried to just sit on the knee and peacefully, respectfully. And yeah, and you still would have got your fucking protest. game. You still would have got your football game. But instead, people were spitting at the people that were kneeling. They were all get death threats to Kaepernick. So fuck all y'all. And fuck your family, too. Because if your family condoned it, and all the women that date men like that, fuck you, too. You should have left him because he's stupid. All you bitches are stupid if you stay with a nigga. <laughs> That's like staying with a nigga that busts you in the eye because you didn't make his ego on time. Oh, my ego how. ain't ready, bitch. How? And if you stay with a person like that, then you deserve it. Football is the same thing. They are smacking us in the fucking face with that hypocrisy. And the fact he said, oh, you can kneel now, uh, too late, bitch. Just like Trump, too late. He knew the shit was going on, and you, now you're trying to act like you didn't say the shit. I hate all you motherfuckers, all yeah. of y'all. And I don't mean some of y'all. I mean all of y'all. Anybody that backed this motherfucker, and I'm not saying Biden is the best or Kamala is the best, but they are, are light years better than this fucking morally fucking bankrupt man. And in fact, and you know what? And if I ever see him, I'm going to take Kanye and I'm going to beat Trump to death with Kanye. Okay. That's it. That's, uh, I can't stand both those motherfuckers. That's yeah. called... That's called two birds, one stone. <laughs> yeah. uh, but, uh, yo, so, you know, as a member of Cap Alpha Psi Fraternity Incorporated, I, I, I not only support my brother Colin Kaepernick uh, in the bond and, 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 in, and in his quest um, to bring some righteousness and some justice to the league, um, but, yeah, much like Karma 777 or 77. Seven four, sorry. Uh, <laughs> seven, 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 seven. They, they have not seven, watched. Seven 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 ninety three. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. that's the song have, from have my watched. era. Y'all don't even I know think. that song. But we have. You watched. know that song? No, no, I don't know that one, man. You that's got me on the that time. one. Man. You never heard of the time? Please, well, I was gonna say, is that a Prince track? I don't know, but it's a time. It's, it's the related. Time. Yeah, it's related. It was, Morris Day. It's related. It's more Day. day in the time. Nobody Come knows on. that. Anybody on Savage AF don't know who's seven 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 ninety three eleven. Actually, I did. now now it came on back because more is day. Been a bad, been a, I don't know the rest of the words. Be the bad baby, you're so cool. I don't, think he, I don't think he knew the words either. He just. <laughs> <laughs> you know yeah. Ain't nobody bad like me. Yeah, I'll say yeah. The, the time at one time, 
was a huge for a time. The time for a time, and then that time passed. Ran out, yeah. (laughs) They time ran out. No, no, but you you know what? Pedro, me and Pedro talked about it before. And Pedro, like, I'm talking about the first day. He said, "Oh, they ain't ride with Kaepernick. Fuck the NFL." And it was like, "Ah!" no more football. Like, even when I said, hey, man, I heard the Super Bowl's coming up. Fuck the Super Bowl and fuck football. I'm like, damn, Pedro, <laughs> damn. Right. I, uh, I um, you know, what really did it for me with the NFL was, you know, they, 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 they actually stayed neutral in that first, uh, at least, you know, audibly, they stayed neutral where. Um, at first. You know, they just kind of silently pushed Kaepernick out the league. You know what I mean? And then. But then the next year, they came out with this no kneeling rule, and they were going to fine cats if they kneeled. And I was like, all right, you went from this, this silent fucked up shit to America. You know, they, they chose a side. When you do that, when you say you cannot kneel during the anthem, you have chosen a side. You have sided with Donald Trumpy Dumpty. You have sided with all the, you know, walnut-minded, squirrel nut-ass Russian doll salad dressing motherfuckers. And... You are you are landing on that side and clearly just saying fuck black people, fuck your struggles. I don't give a we don't want to hear that shit. Shut up and run the fucking ball, right? Right. When you do the same that, thing they said that, with, uh, like, with fuck you, bro. All right, fuck and he you, and I'm talking about Pedro stuck to it. I slipped up and watched two games and then I felt bad. I called Pedro, he cussed me out, and then I never watched one since. <laughs> He's like, oh, you watching football? And he, right. stop it, Pedro. Fucking stop. Stop it, Pedro. Okay. I fucking won't do it again. I won't do it again. Fucking stop, bro. Fucking yeah. stop, bro. Stop. And let me tell you, this is the problem I have with the people. You, basically, they sided with these fucking fans. Most football fans, just like NASCAR fans, are backward trail up our inbreed booger bitches. All right? And that is a fact. Most of the people that are voting for Trump, including black people, I mean, including the black people, you coons, you fucking coons, all you coon ass niggas that actually are Nobody back coons. in this motherfucker and you know, Herschel Walker, that slow motherfucker. And I've watched, you know what? I gotta give props. DL said something that resonated with me, and I was watching him on Vlad. He said he always uses black people that he can insult. He yeah. never uses black people that are intellectual. He always uh, Diamond and Silk or whatever her name. Uh what's Kuni, her name? Kunisha. Kunisha. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. The Kunisha twins. and Nut, whatever the fuck her name is. <laughs> um, their their name is those coontastic ass hoes, and they, and I said it, and I meant it, and I'm here to represent it. Fuck with me, your boy's in the building. I'm trying to tell you right now, all of them are very Bobby. like a Kanye West, bipolar, but he's smart in his bipolarness because he does it. The Hodge twins, those muscular bitch ass niggas, both of them. One, you ain't funny, you bitches. You ain't funny. Secondly, nobody gives a fuck. You will after after if Trump gets voted out, ain't nobody riding with you no more. Ain't nobody gonna watch you on social media and all that other shit. That's a you're dumb. All y'all motherfuckers that back this motherfucker's dumb. And all the people trying to say I don't like Kamala, all you women that that play that little catty women role. Well, I don't like her because of this. I don't like because of that. Shut the fuck up. Your man deserves to beat you. Yes, he do. No, he if don't. you stay no, with a don't. nigga no, that no, beat no. you, then no, no, no. So no, I'm, no. I'm, I'm, if I'm you stay with a man that beat you, you deserve to get beat up. I'm gonna um, say that. But understand that abuse works in many ways, and it's not always possible for these ladies to just up and leave. So if then you are stab up that nigga, if you, and then and then she go to jail. It, it's like the it's ah, like the shit. Sister. You know what? Like you the, gotta stop hitting me with logic. You better like stop hitting sister. me with logic and rationale. No, it's like the sister who fired her gun in the air as a warning shot because her man was beating her, and now she's serving like some twenty fucking years or some shit. You know what I mean? Like, they, they the the system is not set up for for ladies to just you know, <laughs> feel, feel, to feel I guess supported in 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 that way. So if you're out there struggling with abuse, ladies, in a relationship, uh, stay strong. Work your way out of it as best you can, as quickly as you can. Right. Okay. Yeah. But I seen all those movies where the woman leaves, she learns martial arts, and beats him to death. That's the ones I like. That's, that's yeah. No, no. You know, those yeah. are the movies I like where the woman beats the man to death. If you smacking women up and you beating them and doing that shit, and the woman be like, "Well, you know what? He didn't mean that." Those are the women. I got in a fight. 
I got in a fight in the fucking Manhattan, saving a fucking woman from a beating, and he was giving her the business. He wasn't giving her no backhand shit. He was giving her straight knuckle bundle. I jump on dude, get him in a full Nelson. I don't know if y'all know what a full Nelson is. That's old school. You ain't going nowhere. Yeah. I had him I had him fully like on lockdown. His woman jumps on my back. Get off him. Get off Reggie. Get off Reggie. <laughs> Reggie. And then I turn around like, yeah, you get it. Then I was like, and nobody else helped. Nobody else helped stop. And then when I let his punk ass go, she starts Ooh. swinging on me. And then I was like, both y'all deserve each other. I hope y'all all beat y'all so, each other to death, you dirty motherfuckers. Fellas, and, I, and if you if you out there, uh, just know that Saluminati is not the one to fuck with. She's like, I had to almost kill this uh, abusive asshole. So, hey, you know what I'm saying? Do what you got to do. Get out as soon as you can, ladies. But be safe doing it. Miss Adverb in the building. I see you, mama. Um, so, yeah, you know, I'm, what I'm calling for in this moment before we uh, uh, get to the, the last topic, Lope, Wisconsin, is... Yes, you got to talk boy, about boycott that. Boycott the NFL. It is starting tonight, and so should your uh, next few months of not watching a goddamn game of it. Please, guys, as black people, understand that this league, this product, these, these brothers that are playing out there, uh, you know, that, that's personal decisions as grown men to, to do that. And, and you're getting paid a lot of money. So it's whatever, you know what I mean? I had to go back to work too. I, I get the concept overall. Um, but the league itself as an institution, as a product, as a commodity that we, we buy and feed into as, right. as consumers, uh, it's shit, okay? It is a shit product. These motherfuckers for the past six, seven years can't even decide when a fucking touchdown is a touchdown. Okay, I've watched the Lions, my sorry ass squad, have touchdowns remotely. <laughs> the nigga clearly he fell on his ass, holding the ball with one hand. Then as it gets to go, now it's not a catch. Get the fuck out of here. Y'all don't even know what a fucking catch is anymore. Yeah, like, and let me say something. Your product is shit, asshole. Like, All right, it's shit, here. and the you way they the treat black bodies is shit. Exactly. And the exactly. bottom line is we understand that America is, is absolutely, that, like, it, racism is in the fucking blood of America. It's in the it's in the ground. It's in the trees. It's everywhere around us. And the only way we're gonna fight it is to cut it down, burn it down, and start over. And right now, the way America's going, the way people are backing this orange, horrible, fucking cunt stick of a man. Citrus Hitler. He's, uh, he's Citrus Hitler. You know, orange fucking Dracula. Whatever the fuck he is, he is the one that is actually fueling the fire to these people that felt like they were left behind, which they never left behind because they were in a society where they were set up to win. As a comic, me and Pedro both know. Pedro was doing shows at the improv, smoking motherfuckers, having better sets than them, and yet they would be able to feature in fucking clothes and the other motherfuckers that was trying harder didn't, and they happened to be Caucasian or, or pigmently challenged, and they get the fucking look. We understand Amen. it's everywhere. So the Amen. only way we're going to do is talk about it Talk, point it out. Stop acting like the shit ain't there. It's like the mafia said. I mean, if I come over to your house and you owe me money, I'm not going to talk to you about shit on the fucking me. sidewalk, right? I'm going to talk to you about the fucking money you owe me, okay? And if you don't have my fucking money, God forbid, I swear to God, you're going to wake up with a horse head and a fucking dog head <laughs> in your bed, all right? No! No! Yeah, you know what? I, where's Scruffy at? You know what Scruffy is? Scruffy, look under your fucking cover. Ah! That's what's going to happen, you cunch. You fucking cunts. <laughs> no more meeting. Let me tell you something. No more meeting racists halfway. Fuck all y'all. In fact, we're going to have one forum where we talk to white comics and black comics about the fact that you get all these fucking shots on Netflix and all this other shit, and we smoke you when it comes to live shows. We smoke you when it comes to personality. We smoke you when it comes to iconic fucking comedians. Eddie Murphy, Red Fox, we can go on and on and on. The bigger name acts, the ones that actually generate millions and millions and millions are us. You fuck with us. I ain't shit, and I can outdraw 80% of the fucking comics out there, you dirty little bitches. I see you. Mm -hmm, I fucking mm -hmm. see you. Sorry. Got it. Bad day. <laughs> Yeah, man, that's what it is. <laughs> Even Pedro's like, yeah, Shane's having a bad day. No, 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 no. I t listen. We, I think we are all in a very similar space right now. Shit is tense out here. 
uh, motherfuckers. Wow, are. they said Brendan Shaw. <laughs> How late was that? Pandora's box. She she said it earlier too, though. But uh, yeah, it's uh, there's a lot of frustrating elements to this life that we live right now. So um, one thing we can do to try and at least uh, <laughs> make the make the gesture of fighting back is, is through voting. And um, I don't use the word gesture lightly, right? Like, it, it's part of the process that we all need to exercise, uh, not just for your ancestors that fought for the right, but if you don't believe in the system, and I, I know we all have our doubts because <laughs> it's totally justified to not do it, not believe in the system, um, you got to test it out, right? You got you to gotta use the system right. to prove it doesn't work. So uh, today we're talking about a swing state, uh, Wisconsin. I'm going to put you in the I went there last year. In for the first time, there you go. Yeah, glad you made it back. And right? I canceled. I canceled. The, well, there was more because of my son, but I, I canceled the shows I had there this month. I was supposed to be there um, next week. Okay. Okay. I, I won't be that. though. Uh, yeah, I'm, I won't be though because I'll kill somebody the way I'm feeling right now. I yeah, kill don't them go. Stay in the house. Stay yeah. in the house, then, brother. We'll saw. We'll saw through it. I have to um, that. So. Uh, Know that in Wisconsin, the first step is to register to vote, okay? Like we keep saying in any state, uh, if you're not registered to vote, um, I need you to find a tree, uh, run full speed at it, and, 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 and just put your face in the middle of it. Like, just headbutt a tree. Right. That's good then, advice. Then go register to vote. Um, your deadline is October 14th. 10-14 right. is, um, is, is your deadline in Wisconsin, but... It does say, uh, just like, um, I think that was Michigan the other day, it says, if you miss it, you can register in, po in person on most days <laughs> through election day. So I don't know what on most days means, but it does have a hyperlink for register in person. Again, I'm getting this from Apple News Spotlight. This is a, just an Apple News article. Um, and so, it, it, you know, you can apparently register to vote in person all the way up to election day. Right. In Wisconsin, right? So even if you miss that deadline, which you shouldn't, because you're already doing it, because you're already registered voting, if you're not. And plus, you, right know now, you, should, you, you know why right you should do it right now? You should do it early? You should do it early? Because fucking Black Pedro told you to. Come okay? On, damn it. Are you listening? You know what? You ever take an old school watch like this and beat somebody with it? You just put <laughs> it on the your brass knuckles. knuckles. <laughs> and, like, don't be surprised how much impact you can get. They, the, metal, the metal goes into their jaw a little more than you think. Pow! I mean, I, that's just a little tip from Savage Air. But no, I think the bottom line is we got to make sure that you actually do this early. It's no longer a voting day. It's a voting season now. And everybody's been talking about that even before we had this orange bitch ass and pee person in here. And I don't understand why they haven't made it a, a national holiday and made it over a three to four day time period for people to have time to be able to go do it. Because he's trying to get everybody back to work right now, which is understandable. You want to get the economy going. But at the end of the day, is not in a fucking pandemic. And he's like, no, we're going to open up and we're not going to ever shut down again. And we're going to make things better because it's going to be huge. And I know I lied, but I didn't lie. But I know I lied, but I didn't lie. This is just for my base. And so the bottom line is, I'm asking you to vote just so you can see the look on the bitch's face when he lose. Right. Fuck and the country. country. And Prime Minister Taste, I see you. He says, it's not that I don't believe in the system anymore, but that the system doesn't believe in me. Amen. Plus, being in the military gives you a different perspective on every American. American in quotes. Brother, I, I appreciate that. All we ask that you do is, is to continue to participate, whether you believe or not. And we know the system doesn't believe in us. We, we, we all know that, bro. We, you know, that's why we aren't here talking about it. Um, but yeah, but I'm still sick of people to, saying that. Continue to participate, though. Continue yes. to. Pedro I get it. is, it's, it's disheartening. It's disheart all of this shit is disheartening. But can you be 3,000% right? Because I think you're 3,000% right. Trying, and all you fucking idiots is that I don't know. Check this out. I understand a lot of times shit don't work. But if I hand you a blender, and I'm talking about right now, <laughs> and then you tell me how yeah, the blender didn't work, did you turn the bitch on? Did you plug it? Did you put any ingredients? Did you plug it in? Yeah. Did you put some shit in there? And if you said no, you didn't do that, then you need to shut the fuck up and take that blender. It's not the yeah, blender. Yeah, what's wrong with you? And if yeah. not, Pedro will tell you what to do with the blender if you don't fucking vote. Blender hat, you take it upside down, you plug it in. Thank you. Hand, turn it upside down. Put right. it on your head. Turn yeah. on that blender. Yeah. Bam. Puree. Puree. Yeah. Um, so step number three is to actually fucking vote, Wisconsin. Okay, so uh, obviously <laughs> November, November 30th. Yeah. November 3rd is voting day. 
check this out. This says you need to bring ID in Wisconsin. It said, and it has a hyperlink on bring ID. So I'm sure that's going to break down what counts as an ID. You probably can't have your YMCA fucking membership card. Um, right. So if you don't have an ID, get a fucking ID, uh, register your ass to vote and bring it to uh, the voting polls on November 3rd. If you're going to do it in person in Wisconsin, you can uh, vote by mail for any reason. So don't let them tell you otherwise. Your ballot request must be received by October 29th. Okay, so do it before Halloween if, you, if you're planning on doing absentee. Uh, and it must be received, completed, and received no later than 8 p.m. on Election Day, November 3rd. Uh, what does it say? Boom, boom, boom. It doesn't have any information about dropping it in, you know, handing it in in person. Uh, but uh, hopefully we'll discover some more of that later. Uh, early voting, you can start voting October 20th uh, through Sunday, November 1st. So right. that, that's your early voting in, in, in Wisconsin. You can start October 20th going to the polls and, and get it in, you guys, okay? But don't bring Yeah, make sure that you ID. follow up with that, right. Yeah. Have people ID. died for this shit. Yeah, yeah, people died for you to vote. People, you know, black people had a hard time being able to vote. Women... Let's be real with it, women, and I'm not making this up. Women still have, you know, difficulty even getting the possibility of voting. People said, black, one black. person actually debated with me and said, no, women have always been able to vote, at least white women. I'm like, no, not even white women. Not even white women. It was women in general. You had a vagina, you couldn't get certain opportunities. Just right, like right now, if I get a corporate job, you get a corporate job, you're going to get paid less than me. So it's a fact. So there's a lot of people that did a bunch of shit just so you could vote. And you've got to get in the game to see if you can even fucking win. Now, we got it. And then once we do win, if we win the fucking presidency, if the Democrats win the presidency, we hold the motherfuckers that are president, the president and the vice president, accountable for what the fuck we need as black people. Because we always let we always save their ass. Alabama, black women always save their ass with the vote. And then we don't get shit back this time. This time, all you motherfuckers, all you all niggas, you. <laughs> all you niggas. I'm putting all cases you. on all you motherfuckers. I'm putting all you motherfuckers. And if you don't vote, I swear to God, I hope Ken Kong puts his dick on you. <laughs> hey, so check this out, guys. Um, I have to bounce because I'm doing. He's going to be going to, on. I bounce with me, y'all. Come over to YouTube, youtube.com slash comics uncensored. Uncensored. We're, we're going to do that. We're going we're gonna to kick it, drink. Uh, me, Gerard Guillory, Davida D, uh, L. Dura. Uh, we're going to get it in, y'all, because we had a ball on, uh, I think it was Tuesday we did that. So uh, we're going to do another one. We decided to just go at it's it again. It's a special so edition. It's a special edition. I just posted it on my, on my pages. I put the link on all my Facebook pages. So if you're on Facebook, if you're on Twitter, all of them, you just click on it. Boom, bam, bam, slam, down. Ah, you're there. All right? Before we bounce, make sure you subscribe to us. Subscribe. Savage AF. Savage AF. On iTunes, Stitcher, Slacker, Google Play, iHeartRadio, Spotify, and SoundCloud. Okay, make sure you follow sure. at Black Pedro. Follow sure. at Black Pedro, and all you motherfuckers that ain't following me, follow me. Follow me. at Comedian Shang, y'all. At Comedian Shang. I don't know why. You all right, be make sure you follow and watch Comics Uncensored. Thank y'all for your support. You got to get out of here. We out of here, baby. That's Woo! what it is, y'all. Peace. We'll see y'all tomorrow. See y'all tomorrow. Later.